We have been raised to be sheep, to follow the leader and to listen. And it all starts with our school system. We take this beautiful child with this amazing mind and ability to create and play, and we put them inside of a box. And we tell them, you need to go to kindergarten and make sure that you're a good kid in kindergarten because you want to get to first grade and so on and so forth throughout grade school. And then when you get to high school, you definitely want to make sure that you do well so you can get into college. And if you don't have enough money for college, no worries. We'll lend you some money and you could spend the next 20 years of your life paying it back. And make sure you get those good grades throughout college so that you can get a good job. That's what you're worried about, that job that you can finally get. And then when you get that job, do you sit there and go, ah, I've made it. I finally made it, the success that I've been looking for. No, what do you have to do? You have to hit that quota. You have to work really hard. Make sure you get those promotions that you've been working towards. And then you work really hard, you climb the corporate ladder, and by the time you're 40, you finally get there and say, ah, I've made it, right? No, damn, when will it come? When will this success, this thing that I've been working for, for so long finally come? And that's why we have the phrase midlife crisis, because people get to 40 years old and think, what the f have I been doing with my life? And the thought that you have been wasting half of the one life that you get to live could drive anybody insane, could drive anybody to a mental breakdown. So we've been taught to shoot for this endpoint, this goal that's basically like the horizon. The closer that you get to it, the further it gets away from us. And then you need to save, save, save so that you can retire. And then you get to 65 years old and you have all of the money that you've saved, but you're too tired to do any of the things that you wanted to do, the traveling and all the fun that you wanted to have. So what do we do now? Just hope we can live as long as possible, maybe rot away in some retirement community. If we do that, then we've cheated ourselves our entire lives. And that's why it doesn't make sense when someone says the point of life is to enjoy the journey. Because journey means that you're going towards a destination, towards an end point. But life has no end point that you're going towards. Life should not be like a journey. Life should be like music. Because in music, you don't wait for the final note. You enjoy every single moment. That's why no one's ever been to a great concert and thought, man, I can't wait for this last note to happen. No, you wanna stay there as long as possible to be as present as you possibly can. And that's why when you listen to your favorite song, you feel like you could just melt into it because it brings you to the present moment. So don't live your life as if there's some endpoint, some success, some thing that you're waiting for to finally happen. Live your life like music, have fun with it, be present. And if you enjoy the music, make sure that you sing and dance along the way.